I'm actually going to build the PC that I'm currently working on, which, coincidentally, the case on the screen is the, um, oh, God, man, it's the NZXT, uh, H, fucking 500, something like that, I don't know, but, but that's the case I have, which is weird, because that's coincidental, but yeah, that's the case I have, um, I don't know, there's how to build a PC, and then there's free build. Let's, let's go to how to build a PC first. Um, so, pretty excited to do this. Uh, this game is only 20 bucks on the PSN network. Um, we're doing this off of the PS3, PS4, <laughs> PS3. And this story you will learn about the main components of a PC and how they go together. First, we need to remove the side panels. Um, of the case so we can install the components inside. The music needs to go way down low. So we're gonna go back to that. I guess I didn't need to exit, but I don't know. Oh well. Um, I actually saw on like Instagram or whatever this might have been Facebook. I don't know where I saw it, but there was this like um, uh, it was like this laptop, and it's made for like learning um careers or stuff. All right, remove side panel. Okay. Remove cast port or case port, huh? Remove case port. All right. Oh, okay. I am able to turn it. All right. So, pretty much all we've removed is the uh, glass panel. Then we remove the uh, the PSU mount. And then, so back here, that's where the power supply, power supplies goes. So you remove that and get PSU from inventory. Okay. Power supply unit. Oh, wow. Modular ports. These ports allow you to... Attach cables, yeah. Attach cables to carry the power to the components module. Yeah. All right. So all your power is coming from here. This, you, this. How do I? How do I fix the angle of it? All right. Well, that's upside down. <laughs> this is so difficult. Anyways, all right. There we go. That's probably the best thing. See that? This part right here. Plug that into the wall. There's a little fan, and this is the main power supply well this you plug the cords in here and then they go into the parts the components that you need to power uh, main power the uh, power supply unit takes power from the wall socket yeah see that's what it's talking about from the wall socket power supply units are rated from 200 watts to 1600 watts what w watts yeah and you need to make sure you have enough wattage yeah see w for watt uh for your system now, the fan. PSU generates a lot of heat. The fan expels hot air. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna go install that. Uh, that's it? Okay. Oh, but does it. Okay. So, the fan is facing at the bottom. You can't see that, but that's normal. Um, you want to expel the heat downwards, not into the case. So it's facing downwards, power supply units like that. Um, oh, yeah, now you want to put the uh, install mount back in and put the screws in. Screw the power supply unit down. All right. 
At the heart of the PC is the motherboard and all the major components connected to it. Very true. Motherboard. Whoa. Okay. So, power. Your motherboard needs enough power to run the, the to run the components attached to the to God Jesus. Sorry, I'm a little too excited and I can't talk. Motherboards need enough power to run the components attached to them so they usually have more than one connector to the PS, um, PSU power supply unit. Whoops. Alright, so see that? You get some cables, plug it in there. RAM slots. Um, these are the slots where the system memory RAM goes. Um, they will only allow one type of RAM and most motherboards have between 2 and 8 slots. HDD SATA ports. Uh, these ports are called SATA serial ATA ports, and they are where they they are where the hard drives are connected. Yeah, front panel headers. These this connector is where you attach all the ports and buttons um, on the case uh, to your motherboard. Cosmo. Uh, Cosmo CMOS battery um, CMOS battery is used to is used by the motherboard to remember its settings when it has no power even when no attack even when not attached to the PSU Standoffs, uh, mothers, motherboards are screwed in, screwed in the case using standoffs, which is held by held, which hold the motherboard away from the metal, away from the metal of the case. Are we able to zoom in? All right. PCI slots are very high um, speed connectors to the motherboard from PCI cords, cards. Um, and graphics cards, but can also be Wi-Fi or sound cards. I/O ports. The in input/output ports or I/O ports are where you plug in, in in all your peripherals, like your keyboard and mouse. Oh yeah, which that looks like that. Uh, CPU socket. This is where the CPU sits. It, it has a hard shield that holds it in place. All right. Oh yeah, the chipset. That's the last one. Chipset and processors that support the CPU. Oh shit, it moved. And manage how it works. Every CPU model has its own bespoke chipset that is designed to get the most from it. All right, let's install it. What? Oh yeah. What? Am I tripping? Oh no, no, no. You just took the bracket off. No, I'm tightening it down. What's going on? Oh, okay. So what we're doing is we're tightening down the uh, the standoffs first, and then you put the motherboard on, and then you screw in the screws to the standoffs that you installed. So that way it's not metal on metal, or yeah. So that way the motherboard it's pretty much like a spacer. Um, so that way the motherboard is not sitting directly on the case. What was that? What did I do? Oh, we're connecting it. See, I just ran a cable from there to, oh man, why can't I? There we go. Ran a cable from there to there. This is the way we're going to be looking at the computer. So run it through the back, cable management. Twenty-four pin ATX carries the power from PCU to the motherboard. There we go. And this connects to the front panel so that way all these all of these are usable. Look at that. Alright, so, ooh, pretty, 
interesting case. Alright, now we're gonna put in the processor. Processor, the processor, the processor or die is the chip that does all the calculations in the computer. It is very delicate and it is tightly packed so it gets hot quickly. And so yeah, this is the heat plate. Um, the heat plate, the CPU has a heat plate that is attached directly to the processor. This is designed to quickly get the CPU heat away from the CPU cooler. And then, which, I thought this was the heat plate. Oh, wait, no. And then pins, got pins, which are these little, little yellow dots. The CPU has pins in the plug-in, in, uh, pins that plug in to the socket on the motherboard. Each CPU model, um, has its own pin layout and orientation into the socket. Yeah. So let's go ahead and install it. It goes right here into the open CPU shield. Open it like that. This level. All right. There we go. This little lever right here, if you can see it, this opens up first and then you install that. Alright, the CPU gets very hot and it needs to be cooled by a cooler. First we apply thermal paste to the CPU to improve the con conductivity between it and the cooler. Alright, this is very important. Um, cause one, I'm not some PC pro for, you know, I've never actually, I'm building my first PC, but from what I've researched is that this is the most important, like one of the most important parts. Uh, now we can install this. Mm -hmm. See, you only want to put a little glob on. You don't want to do a lot. I think it was like something like dime size amount of glob. Um, you don't want to overdo it because then it'll get all around and then it, it it's horrible. So we're going to go with this basic ass cooler fan. Alright, so the cooler, let's hold on, cooler plate. Can I have that back? All right, we'll go first. This is a fan. Fan blows um, through the fins to move the hot air away from the heat sink. Yeah, see, blows it through. It's all good. Bracket. These are the brackets, obviously to mount it. The bracket attaches the cooler to the motherboard. Each CPU model has its own bracket size and shape. Heat sink fins. The fins give a large surface area for the CPU heat to be displaced. Cars also have fins um, on certain components too. What are we missing? Cooler plate. I think that was the last one. Plate makes This plate makes contact with the CPU through the thermal paste and is made to from a highly heat conductive material, usually copper. Yeah, usually. You'll find that. Boom. Oh shit. Too close. Oh, I was like, uh, what does it want us to, oh, okay. And we're going to connect the fan. Whoop. The next important component is the graphics processor unit, also known as GPU. GPU is 
GPU are often mini computers in themselves with their own processors and memory to calculate the complex visuals of today's games. There we go. All right. <laughs> this is a little uh, graphics card, um, graphics processor. At the heart of the GPU is the graphics processor and it's turns and it turns where are we? Oh, there we go. That's where we're pointing at. And it turns instructions from the GPU into something you can see on on your screen. Dual GPUs. Uh, many GPUs use the use this connector to allow for multiple cards to be linked together for more power. Some systems allow up to four cards. Backplate. This is the backplate. Um. The backplate sits in the rear of the case and contains the connectors to that go to your screen, like HDMI or DisplayPort. Yep. Uh oh, PCI can can I have that back. PCI connector. The this connector fits into the PCI slots. There you go. That's a better visual. Slots of the motherboard. The most and most motherboards have a dedicated PCI slot for just for GPUs. Fan and heatsink. The GPU gets hot and needs large heat sinks um, and fan to keep it cool. Yeah, duh, that was all of it. All right, so right here um, is the case port. That part, uh, the case is like a skeleton in, of the PC. Providing the frame for the components and protecting them, it can also provide a dash of styles to uh, to a build. Want to unscrew that? Take that out. Boom. There we go. Screw that down. And there you go. Next is memory or RAM. Random access memory. RAM is very fast memory that the CPU uses to hold the programs that are running on the PC. RAM comes in sticks as many of the same type. Comes in sticks and many of the same type can be combined to give the PC more memory to use. Oh, there we go. Man, why do they put it all the way in the edge? <laughs> I was like, yo, look at this little skinny thing. Boop. All right, connector. That's where you connect it to the PC. Or, well, to the motherboard. RAM connectors are motherboard or special connector. Each type of RAM has a special notch cut out of it. Make sure that you don't put the wrong type together. See the notch in the... Well... Alright. See? Right there, right next to this bubble, this notch. That's very important to tell. Alright, locks. Motherboard RAM slots have a locking switch that grip the motherboard here and hold it in place. Right there right there you can't right there all right memory chips these chips on a sticker ram are very fast types of memory designed to hold programs so that the computer can access them as quickly as possible so those are our ram what are we looking at oh okay here we go so you want to open that open that All right. Now we're just gonna put the RAM slots in. One, two. All right. Last major component in this hard disk drive is the uh, is the hard disk drive HDD. Hard disk drive stores all the data for the operating systems, the programs, and the users' photos, music, and videos. So it's pretty much the memory, like that memory. This that looks like Western Digital blue but what is it says mortality hard drive sat at 64 megabytes catch um spinning disk all right inside see that that's because there's a spinning disk in there the hard drive has a disk inside that spins but a bit like a dvd yeah that's true the faster the disk spins the faster the data can be accessed 
um, some server drives spin at over 15,000 RPMs, which is rotations per second, per minute. RP, yeah, per minute. Um, these connectors are used to connect HDD. Yeah, there you go. These connectors are used to connect the HDD to the motherboard, SATA, and the power supply. Nope. It, um, I've actually installed, upgraded my memory on my PS3, so I have a fat PS3, and then um, I upgraded it to, I think, two terabytes, and then on my PS4, I did the same. I in, I upgraded the internal memory to a four terabyte. They're really easy. You just connect the pins. Um, it's super cool though. All right. So open bay drive. There we go. Install that. Push that back in. We're gonna go around the back side. Connector pin. Connector pin. Connect it. What's a better view? Okay. Connect it to right there. there to there all right get a case fan from inventory case fan all right in the middle in the center is the motor many fans and motherboards support variable speeds for the fan uh, variable speeds so that the fan only runs as fast as it needs to fins the fins control which way the air moves look out for an arrow Usually you can tell by the way the fins are shaped which way it's supposed to actually spin. Um, for an arrow on the side of the fan to show which way the fan blows. I mean, yeah, but it's kind of obvious. Like, it should be obvious which way the fan blows. So, we want to install that right there. Screw that down. Are we... Oh, okay. Never mind. I mean, it's not never mind. We are screwing it down. And then you want to connect the power. Alright. Now we just need to replace the covers. Oh, on the back. There we go. There you go. Now we just need to plug in the cables to the PC. Alright. That is for the mouse. This is for... Oh, the graphics card? Yeah, so that's for the display. This is the keyboard, which is going to go up here with the mouse. Oh, it does stretch out the freaking cables. That is so funny. That's cool that they made the wires able to move. And lastly, gonna connect the power. All right, now press the on button. Look at that, we built a computer. Boom, there we go. Now we know how to build a computer. Hooray! Alright, let's do a free build. I'll show you guys what I'm working. Oh man. What is going on? <sighs> Welcome to building. Oh, look at that. This is cool. What's over here? <laughs> Why would they need to do that? Alright. Um, no PCs in storage. Alright, main menu. Alright. Um, I'm actually going to end right here i'm gonna start it back up on free build 
it's just easier this way for me. Um, so for those who are watching, I'll be right back. 